The last piece I want to cover is what's been told to me is like a placebo effect, and that's called the 4 gigabyte patcher. Now, what some people have said and that I've read recently is with the Fate of a Rune patch is that this was actually integrated into the game. And so to test for myself, since the engineer patch, I haven't applied this and everything has ran perfectly fine as if I had applied it before. But the first time I ever applied this, it was a huge improvement and I noticed it immediately. So I'm going to show you exactly what I did. Just in case you want, you're one of those people who wants absolutely everything. And I don't blame you because I'd want the same thing too. So what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to click on the download 4 gigabyte patch and that'll bring you up with this zip file. You'll simply open that, leave that window there for a second, you'll navigate to your program files 86 Terra folder where you'll find the tl.exe and you'll drag this 4 gigabyte patcher into here. You can go ahead and close your unzipping program after that. And all you have to do is simply open the 4 gigabyte patcher, accept the administrative rights passage, and locate and navigate to this same folder where terra.exe is. Now I'm not sure exactly which file you have to apply it to, so I always applied it to this tl.exe, which you just simply double click, and it says it was successfully patched OK. And that's all you have to do. One thing I forgot, actually, before doing that, is you'll want to copy this. So simply control C, control V, and you'll have a copy. This is just in case something screws up. Now when you use the 4 gigabyte patcher, you'll target the non-copy, and then you'll always have a copy in case the 4 gigabyte patcher does something wrong. You'll then also go into binaries, Make sure you copy Terra.exe beforehand, so you have a copy in case something goes wrong. I have a backup there. And you'll go ahead and do this same 4 gigabyte patcher to Terra.exe. And then that's all you have to do for the 4 gigabyte patcher. That's it. Next, we're going to cover my settings in-game for graphics so you know exactly what I set it to in-game and maybe a little explanation along with that. And one more thing. Just before I go ahead and load up the game, we've got to finish up here with Notepad++. So we have the S1 game any here, we have the S1 and input any, and the S1 engine any that we've edited a few values in. And all we have to do is just make sure they're saved. So that one's saved for me, that one's saved for me, and that one's saved for me. Everything's saved. So simply close all three of these, close Notepad++, and then we have these three files right here. You'll right click on engine, properties, read only, apply, OK. You'll do this with the game engine as well. Read only, apply, OK, and the input. Properties, read only, apply, and OK. What this does is every time Terra updates on their weekly maintenance on Tuesdays and Thursdays, or any time the game updates, such as Fate of Arun 2 or Fate of Arun 1, it won't reset your custom values you have in here. It will keep all of your custom values you have for the game to run better, so you don't have to redo them every single patch, which would be very inconvenient. So we have that read-only option to stop the updates from overwriting those. And once you have that, you can just simply close that because we no longer need it. There's my video, in case you were wondering how big this thing is. Um, that would be your backup folder for all of your innies, files, and everything. I don't have them in there because I have mine stored somewhere else. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and load up the game and show you my in-game values, and that will conclude this FPS improvement guide.
So this is it. We've come to my in-game settings. Here I'm on my Lancer. Just as a little quick little character shot. I do want to say uh, before we get started that the quality of my game for some reason looks really bad when I'm recording. But when I'm actually playing in game or what I see on screen is a lot better than what records. I don't quite know why that is, but that just seems to be the case. So we're going to get to my video settings, which it's not there. It is video settings. There we go. So if you did that uh, B smooth frame rate, you're going to want to be in windowed full screen at all times. If you didn't do that and left it true like I did, then you can definitely go full screen. That's totally fine. The effects level, you're going to want to change to the values I have here. The preset doesn't really matter. You can leave that wherever it is because we're changing all the values individually. The texture resolution or this resolution you'll leave there. PC view distance you'll want to leave it for. There's no reason for it to be at 5 or 6. Uh, it renders stuff below you. There's just no point for that. Character 2, shadows, leave them there. The rest of these settings just copy what I have. I've found that these work the best for what I do. Uh, those aerial and landscapes are for the sky and stuff really far away. They're not too important. Effects distance, I've found I want pretty high. They don't need to be max, but it's good to see things coming, other people running towards you. It's, I found it useful in CS. Uh, lighting enrichment should be at 1. I don't know why I have it at 2, but it should definitely be at 1 or 0. When you do this in-game, you can choose the preference yourself. Real-time optimization needs to be at zero. You'll want to leave that there. Always at zero. Don't change it. And brightness is totally up to you. You can do whatever you want. Then you can just apply an OK. And that's it. Thank you for watching this guide. I hope it improved your FPS as much as it did mine. Uh, if you look at my game here, we're only at like 25 FPS over there. But uh, rest assured, this will help you. I'm running Bandicam and a whole other, whole other lot of programs in the background, so I'm a little bit slower than I normally would be. But these settings will help you. Give them a try, and best of luck to you.